We're making a film about an historical event that is central to the Osage history. So, of course, it's important. We spoke that language. What was that? This is 1920s, where people were still speaking the Osage language daily. We wanted to be as authentic as possible, and using the duality of both English and Osage was a symbol of the enmeshment of the two cultures. We need the shots. Language and culture are inseparable. You understand the way people operate through their language. Speaking Osage changed the way that I even moved as Molly. It took months to get comfortable with a different pace of speaking. Working with Robert De Niro, he is very serious about it. So we met every day, getting the gestures right and the voice right. They got very comfortable with the words, the sounds, the rhythms. And in some cases, I didn't even put subtitles on the, on the scene because you know what's going on. We're deeply committed to staying true to the reality of the world in which this story unfolds. Well, well, our war hero has arrived. Killers of the Flower Moon was a series of murders of Osage men and women to bilk them at the discovery of oil on their land. The Osage Reign of Terror was a fascinating piece of American history. I was drawn to the idea to tell this terribly tragic story that was never brought to national attention. Marty obsessed with telling this story with the most honesty that he possibly could. One of the key things was that it was drawn to this world where friendship and love existed with blatant extortion, exploitation, and murder. When this money started coming, we should have known it came with something else. In our film, Ernest develops a relationship with Molly Burkhart. I don't know what she said, but it must have been Indian for handsome devil. Ernest was encouraged to marry her by his uncle, Bill Hale, in order to get her family's shares in the oil profits. Hale was a very enigmatic presence in Osage country. He definitely represented somebody that wanted to take advantage of the situation at all costs. The time is over. There was a need to tell this story for Martin Scorsese. There was something intrinsic in him to do this story justice. There's a sinister nature of the murders of the Osage people. Expecting a miracle to make all this go away. You know they don't happen anymore. I wanted to do justice to the Osage so that the audience feels the immensity of the tragedy. 